Old boots finally got a hole in them. My feet are getting wet, so had to get another pair. I mean, these having rubber boots around here is a must for at least until the summer months because it is always wet and muddy around here. So out with the old and with the new. These boots, I don't know, I had them probably three years. I remember these boots when I was a kid. Used to had the yellow laces in them. These had yellow laces, but I took the laces out. But I upgraded and upgraded the boot and spent a little bit more money, and I bought a pair of these muck boots. I tell you though, I put these on, and they are way more comfortable than these other ones. I have no problem wearing these all day long. These yell these guys used to hurt my feet a little bit by the end of the day, but so I spent a little bit more and we'll see how they go. I know I never owned a pair of these muck boots. Reading the bottom said they're supposed to be pretty good boots, so I can't I figure I'd give them a try. I'm gonna take a walk out to the greenhouse and show you the floods that I got because it has been raining up here for Christ, since last night, middle of the night, and it's been raining all day, and now it's starting to snow again. And it's supposed to snow all night and might get 7, 8 inches, 10 inches by tomorrow, so. It looked like it was melting. I was, <laughs> I seen some grass out there. It was nice today, but now it's, it's going to get covered. All right, let me slip on these new boots and take a look in the greenhouse. Let's take a look. I was out here late yesterday and the day before was pretty nice out. They were smoking around in the greenhouse getting ready. You know, by the end of the month or so I should be able to start planting some greens out here. Probably the stuff I got growing in the box in the house. I still got some lettuces and things like that. I'll uh, move them out to here. But and you see it's starting to freeze up now. It's getting a little colder. But a lot of water in here. Right in between these blocks is probably six inches. Yeah, at least six inches. But I usually get a lot of water in here in the springtime. It's uh, This is a low-lying area back here where I have this thing, but it, it dries up. This is a lot of water. This is the most I've ever seen. I mean, we had three feet of snow out there, and then it rained a day and a half. So we had a lot of melting. I mean, a lot melted at once. So, you know, it was 45 degrees last couple days. So this will probably freeze up. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be uh, cold for a couple days. So probably freeze up a little bit. Anyway, I'm monkeying around here, getting the beds ready and cleaning up. Still got some more to do. Just doing a little insulating on the walls. I got to do this side. So, probably a couple more days I should have this ready to go. I'll start some more stuff inside. Some more greens. I'm sure this cold frame is probably filled up to the top, I bet you. I checked it earlier today, it was like halfway up. <laughs> Stuff in there was floating. It's like a, it's like a fish pond now. I'm gonna throw a couple goldfish in here. Oh, yep. It's up to the top. And the pots are buried under the water. It actually went down a little bit, it was higher than that. I mean, it'll, it'll recede, but like I say, it's a lot melting at one time. I usually don't see that that much of a melt so fast. So, but now it is snowing again. It's supposed to get another eight inches or so today, tonight, and into tomorrow. So, it was nice for a couple days to see the grass. I think you can still see some of the grass out there, but that's not going to last too long. I notice over here on my grapevines a rabbit has been getting into my garden and I have to find out where he is getting in because he can wipe me out. 
You can see he chewed this grapevine. He, he chewed it right in half. You can see all the rabbit crap. He fertilized the bed good for me, but he's chewing on my uh, grapevines is no good. So I gotta look around and see where, he get, where he's getting in here. Like I say, he can really wipe me out. So if I get him, he'll be on the barbecue. All right. Let me get back inside. Stoke the fire. Alrighty. Take it easy.